Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. When it comes to choosing a venue for your wedding, you're likely not choosing from a list that could double as a horror movie set. Unless you're like some people, like some of our fans. Today we're going through the top 10 creepiest places you can get married. Hey, and if you end up enjoying this video, then in the comment section, tell us the place where you'd like to get married, creepy or not. Number 10. Married at your parents' grave sites. Looking to bring a little morbidity to your wedding day? Who isn't? Just ask this couple who perfected the we're all gonna die anyway mood by getting married at their parents' grave sites. Most couples who look to honor a deceased parent on their wedding day have a nice slideshow of photos, maybe a speech. Not these two. This couple got married in 2012 at their parents' gravestones in Minnesota. Though not everyone loved the idea, they still had a guest list of 50-some people. Number 9. Marriage in Hell Most wedding planners will sell you your perfect wedding venue by telling you it will feel just like heaven. This strategy certainly wouldn't have worked on the couple that got married at the Seven Floors of Hell haunted house where they worked together and nurtured their relationship. They really leaned into the theme, too. The groom made his entrance in a hearse coming out of a coffin while the bride waited, resembling Carrie in her dress made to appear as if splattered with blood. The minister even played along, dressed as the Grim Reaper. Number 8. The Limp Mansion in St. Louis, Missouri this 1860s mansion is supposedly haunted by the Limps, a once famous brewing family. It suffered a series of tragedies, including several suicides happening inside the mansion itself. Frederick Limp, head of the family, died of mysterious circumstances, and so the home was passed on with its dark history and past. Now it's a place where you can get not just an affordable wedding venue, but also one that doesn't have a jam-packed schedule with a waiting list for the summer wedding of your dreams. Number 7. Walworth Castle Hotel Lots of girls dream about getting married in a castle. This Walworth Castle Hotel sees many a request for couples planning their nuptials. The 12th century home with lavish green lawns and several outdoor and indoor areas for weddings seems too good to be true like it must have a catch. You'd be right to think so. The castle comes with the haunting of a young female servant who found herself in a strange relationship with one of the lords of the castle. Legend says she had her walled into the staircase during renovations to keep her from talking and her body from being found. Ever since, a specter haunts the castle, often coming from the staircase. Other stories report screams, shadows, and figures sitting in otherwise empty armchairs. Would you put your fear aside to get married here? <coughs> Number 6. Dracula's Castle Blah, blah. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I wish I'd gotten married at Dracula's Castle in Transylvania. Bran Castle, with a history linked to Vlad the Impaler, has quite the history. The Impaler was the inspiration for Bram Stoker's novel Dracula. Unfortunately, it seems Dracula is the least scary thing there. The castle was once home to the Queen of Romania, Marie, who loved it for its tranquility. A tranquility that didn't outlive her, since after her death, her heart was buried in the fireplace. Many say her ghost remains there, walking through the gardens. This, of course, doesn't stop fanatics from going and getting married there, in the dungeon, no less. Though there are no known cases of fatal hauntings during a wedding, I would say it's in the realm of possibilities. If you get married there, send me an invitation. Number 5. Hotel Provincial in New Orleans, Louisiana New Orleans is full of history and beauty not to mention food. Though I don't think this is why ghosts stick around, it is quite the destination for ghost tours. This hotel, located in the French Quarter, was a Confederate hospital in its past. 
guests of the hotel have been reporting ghosts for years. Some seem to have seen doctors, while others have seen soldiers. I can't imagine what the walls would say if they could talk, and I'm not sure I'd love to cement my wedding day to a place like this. Number 4. The Driscoll Hotel in Texas Back in 1886, Austin was going through a similar revival to the current one. People were investing, jobs were being created, it was the cool place to be. Those investors included Jesse Driscoll from Missouri, who opened a $400,000 hotel. After some bad business, Driscoll had to give up the hotel, but it moved on just fine without him, becoming the venue for governor balls and the first date for former president and first lady Lyndon B. and Lady Bird Johnson. It remains a coveted place to tie the knot if you ignore small details, like the phantom cigar smoke smell that could belong to some dead colonel. To add, don't go to room 525. It's said to be the site of not one, but two suicides. And that, my friend, is the beginning of every horror movie ever. Number three, the Crescent Hotel and Spa in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. If someone comes to you saying, you've won an all-expense-paid vacation to the Crescent Hotel and Spa in Eureka Springs, you'd be so jazzed. It has hiking, spa services, gourmet restaurants, wine tastings, and endless more activities to make you feel like you're rich. It's also one of the most haunted hotels in America. From its very construction, tragedy seemed to be all around, like when a stonemason fell to his death inside the building. Decades later, in the 1900s, a woman fell from a top-story window. Some say she was pushed. Later, it was sold to a man who turned the place into a hospital, attempting to profit by selling fake miracle cures for cancer. He'd find vulnerable patients with no families to advocate for them. After becoming a resort once more, guests say they still see ghosts of doctors, nurses, and even patients. A tour is available where you can visit the basement where Baker would perform horrible fake surgeries like putting random objects into people's skulls. Number 2. Mommy Bay Brewing Company in Toledo, Ohio If you're a fan of a good brew, you might be considering getting married at an old-time brewery. Interested in a ghost added free of charge? The owner of this brewing company in Ohio still appears in his pool room, among other ghosts. There might not be much about him particularly that made this happen, but rather the place where he chose to have his brewing company. See, the structure is built on a Native American burial ground and then served as a recovery facility during the Spanish-American War. So, while they may not have known why the floors creak, the doors shut, and there are phantom steps and sounds, you're still allowed to get married there. Number 1. Historic Plains Hotel Our number one is not just the scariest one on the list, it's also the most relevant one to a wedding you'll find. The Historic Plains Hotel in Wyoming is known for the double murder-suicide that occurred there in the early 1900s, but don't think that because it happened so long ago that the spookiness has faded. See, the tragedy started during a couple's honeymoon when the bride, Rosie, found her beau at the bar chatting up a sex worker and then following her to a hotel room. The desperate bride grabbed her husband's gun and shot them both. After, in despair, she returned to the honeymoon suite and took her own life. If that's the kind of vibe you want at your wedding, by all means, go and get married at the historic Plains Hotel. Thanks for watching. Hearing all of these stories makes me glad I got married in a more mundane place, yet still to an exciting woman. What about you? Would you get married in one of these locations? Let us know in the comments. Why not tie the knot with us in a blissful YouTube union by becoming a subscriber, ringing the wedding bell to be notified of future videos, and be sure to give this video a love, a like. Thanks.